everybody, Coach T here, and it's time for Money Talks. Man, we got a good one for you today. Today, we are going to be talking about how to enhance and make sure that your FICO score is always strong and always on the high side. Your FICO score literally is how worthy are you as a borrower? What I want you to do is have a strategy, a plan, so that you can be successful in having a good credit score and keeping a good credit score. I don't want you to kind of be guessing and throwing noodles at the wall to see what sticks. No, when we're done, you're going to be able to know exactly what steps to take and how to drive points into your FICO score. There's five things that factor into that FICO score. And once you know what those five things are, and you know how to unpack them, you're gonna always have a good credit score. Our score is important. When you borrow money, a lot of what you pay in interest is really determined by what your score is. So the higher your score, the lower interest you pay. If you've got a zero score, let me tell you, that means that you don't have anything recorded. So you don't have any trade lines that are showing up that's saying, hey, I'm using credit and I'm using it responsibly or irresponsibly, but you got nothing. So if you've got a zero, then you need to get a trade line recording and start to report. My goal here today is to make sure when you borrow, you pay as little as possible for, for the money that you do borrow. So the old soul powerful FICO score, it ranges from 300 to 850, that's the range. So if you think about it, there's 550 points that you can do something with. Let's get into it. The first thing that impacts your credit score and the most important piece is your payment history. It's 35% of your credit score and what that equals is 193 points that comes out of that 550 or you can pump into that 550 points that we can influence that 300 to 850. Every time you have a late payment, you're only affecting that 193 points. So if you've got three late payments, you could see your credit score drop significantly. Payment history is 35%, 193 available points. So and it's very, very important that you always make your payments on time. You always make at least a minimum and I always encourage pay a little bit more if you can. So if you are paying interest, you're not paying as much. The next thing that calculates in is your balances. Oh my goodness. Try to use no more than 30% on your balances. Not only is it 30% of your FICO score, but that's also the sweet spot. Don't go over 30% of your balances. And also it's going to factor in 30% of that 550 points. That's 165 points that now you get. You get to factor into your FICO score. You see how your score is going up? You only had 550 to work with and already with these two really key categories, it's keeping you moving. The next category is length of credit. Your length of credit is 15% of your FICO score. 15% that equals 82 points of your FICO score. So remember, we've got 550 points and that 82 points is pretty significant in that 550. You can't make time up. That's the one thing. So if you don't have credit, get some credit and get it going. You'll never get those 82 points if you don't have length of credit. And so it's going to be very tough to get to the highest of highs on the FICO score if you've got young credit. So get it. You don't have to use it, but you want to have it established. And whatever that OG credit card is that you have, keep it forever. Like that first gas station card you got, fill up the tank every couple of months and keep that card always active because that is going to be your oldest credit line. And that's what's going to help you get all 82 of those points. The next one is inquiries. This is 10% inquiries. These are people running your credit. These are points that hang out for 24 months, two years. Stop. Stop letting people run your credit. It's not important. I've seen people go car shopping and they will have their credit ran 20 times in, a, in like a two week stretch. This will destroy your credit. And then when you really need it, it just kind of looks on your credit report like you're just kind of careless. Don't let people run your credit. And then the last category, guys, it's your mix or your type of credit. This is like having a good recipe. Like you want to make sure that you've got everything in the mix. So you want to have unsecured. You want to have like a credit card, revolving credit. You want to have an auto loan. And then you want to have something secure, like a mortgage. If you've got all these pieces factoring into your FICO score, you're going to see your score be at a really, really high level. And then you'll be able to maintain it at that level, regardless of what happens. It gives you a little bit of play. And if you happen to have a late payment, because it happens, those are honest mistakes, you can absorb that. You're not going to lose so many points that your score drops from an 800 to a to a 300. It'll go from an 800 if you have a late payment to a 770, which is fine. You're still doing great. Guys, those are the five categories. They're really easy to factor in. 35% on payment, 30% on balances, 15% on length, and 10% on inquiries, 10% on mix. If you use that the right way and you know that these are the categories I want to pay attention to, 
you're going to get all the points that you can on your FICO score, and you're going to be in that high level, that 800, 850 range, and you're going to be you're going to be super confident, and you're not going to have anything to worry about when it's time to use credit and you need to use it. And remember, like Coach T told you, if it don't make money, then it don't make sense.